Hey guys, how you doing? This is Debbie again, and I'm going to do um, another tutorial on crocheting. And this one is going to be on how to make this hat for an American girl doll. And I'm going to make it without the little heart hair. And this is what it looks like. It fits perfectly on the doll's hair. Isn't it cute? Well, I'm going to be using um, worsted weight yarn by Loops and Thread Impeccable. And I'm going to be doing it in white. And uh, I just wanted to show you what kind of yarn I was using. This is um, medium 4. And um, I'm going to be using an H hook to make this hat. So, let's jump right into it and I'm going to make my my slip knot well actually you know what instead of starting that way I'm gonna I'm gonna do the magic circle and if you don't know how to do the magic circle there's plenty of um YouTube tutorials out there that can show you how to do it I'm just gonna do it the way I know how And I'm going to chain up three, one, two, and three. And then I'm going to make 11 double crochets inside the loop for a total of 12 because your chain three counts up as your first double crochet. So I'll do 12, I mean 11 more in the loop. It's my first one and continue to do the double crochets in the circles and I'll meet you back okay so I'm gonna do my last double crochet number 12 in the loop and then I am going to close up my circle and I'm gonna work that tail in. I am going to um I'm going to join to the beginning of that chain three of course as usual and join there. Okay and then I'm gonna chain up three one, two, fix my yarn here, and three, and I am going to do another double crochet right in the same space as the chain three. spot at the, that's the chain three and then I am going to do um, I wrote it down so I won't forget here two double crochets in the next stitch which is right here that's one and number and then I am going to do two double crochets in each stitch around so the next stitch I'll do two more and I'm working in my tail so I don't have to worry about that later so there goes my first double crochet and my second in the same stitch so keep doing that until you reach um, the beginning of your your circle 
All right, so I'm right back to the beginning, and I'm going to work my last two double crochet here. This one. And, and that's two. And then I'm going to join at the top of chain three. So there it is. That's how it looks so far. And then I'm going to chain up three again. One, two, three. And I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch. That's the next stitch right there. Let me show you where it is. Not in the same space, but in the next double crochet. I mean, in the next space. Right there. Double crochet in there. And then I'm going to work two double crochets in the next stitch. So two in there. One. And the second in the same stitch. And then I'm going to work one double crochet in the next stitch. And work one double crochet in the next stitch. So you're going to repeat that all the way around. You're going to do um, two double crochets in the next stitch. So two inside that same stitch and then one and one. And repeat that all the way around until you get to the beginning and I'll meet you back there okay so here we are at the end of row three this is row three I'm sorry this is one two and three and I'm gonna finish my stitches here so one in the next and one in the next and then two double crochets in the next and of course we're gonna join at the top of chain three sorry gonna join I like to take it from behind like this it seems easier to me and see I have two on the loop and I'm gonna join there and there it is so for round four, we're going to re basically repeat what we just did. So we're going to chain up three. One, two, three. And we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. And then two double crochets in the next stitch. So two in here. That's one. And two. And then we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch. And one double crochet in the next stitch. And then in the third stitch we're going to do two double crochets so we are repeating what we did in round three and you do that all around until you get to the beginning and I will meet you back there all right so here I am at the end of the round which is round four and it says that you're gonna end up with with um two double crochet I mean one double crochet in the last two um, stitches so here we are at the end and here's one double crochet in that stitch and one double crochet in the last stitch. Then you are going to join at the top of chain three. I'm going to join here. If I could find it. Here it is. You join it. And for the remaining rounds, which is rounds five through seven, you're going to chain three 
and um you're gonna do a double crochet in each stitch around for the next um three rounds so three rounds of double crochets all the way around but first you remember to j chain three double crochet all around and join at the, the top of chain three and then again do double crochets all the way around and you understand what I'm saying to you so chain three one two three double crochet into the next stitch and each stitch around and I'll meet you once I have my rows of um my rounds of double crochets all the way around and I believe that I made an extra round for this one so it could fit a little better let me see one two let me see how many I have here one two three four five six seven eight and there is how many rounds yeah okay so no I didn't make an extra round but in case you do need to make an extra round or you want to make an extra round that's fine but I'll meet you back when I have have it completed okay so here we are at the end and I actually did work an extra row in this hat but this hat was um I'm sorry my TV is on the, I forgot to mute the volume I'm sorry I keep doing that but um anyway this one was um with red heart yarn so that's why it's still the same length because this yarn is a little smaller than the impeccable so um the loops and threads impeccable yarn so now what I'm gonna do with this hat is I am gonna work another um round but this round is just gonna be a single crochet all around to make that you know the 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 end of the hat a little edgier it, look, it looks better I'm gonna try it on this one this is one of the um bitty babies and this this the heads are the same size so it should fit her fine so we're gonna try it on her to see how it looks and here it is that looks good perfect on her head see what I'm saying if you want it to be it to be longer so you could cover a little bit of the ear you can make it longer if you want so you can make another um round of double crochet and then make another round I mean make the last round of single crochet I think maybe I'll do that and see how it looks so let me put her to the side and we're gonna add another round of double crochet now so what we're gonna do is of course chain up three one two and three and then we are going to double crochet into the first um, stitch there and every stitch around so I'm going to continue to double crochet all the way around and I'll meet you when I get back to the beginning of the, the round Alright, so here we are at the end of round 8, because remember we added an extra round, and I am going to slip stitch to the beginning of chain 3, so we can see how the hat looks on the doll, the itty bitty baby is what they call them from American Girl, okay, so let's see, where is she, here she is, we still haven't done the single crochet, which will be the last Oh, that looks even better. Let me put up the camera for you. See that? Much better. I like that. So, um, so we're going to do the, the round of single crochet now and finish off the hat. Let's put her to the side. So now we're just going to chain up one. Chain up one. And then single crochet 
all the way around. I'll meet you back at the very um, last stitch. Okay, so here we are at the end of the last stitch and I am going to slip stitch into the first single crochet here. Ugh, if I can get it in there. <laughs> Sometimes it could get difficult. Here it is. And I am going to slip stitch in there. And I'm going to fasten off by doing that. Let me get my scissors, which is behind me. Bear with me. Okay, here it is. And I am going to cut the yarn and tug on it. Finish it off there. So there, the hat is finished. That's what it looks like. So cute. I was thinking, I have a, a bag of buttons. Maybe we can place a button right there. I think that would look cute. Let me get the doll back. Here she is. Let's put the hat on her. Let me pick her up so you can see what she looks like in her hat. And of course, we have to weave in our ends. Let me place the Put the hat right. That's the back of the hat. That's what it looks like on her head. Fix it up. So I'm thinking I should put the button like right up, up here maybe. Just sew in a button. Let me grab my bag of buttons. Which I just got in. Um, these are good for stuff like that. Like, I really bought them so I could put them on little booties and stuff like that. But these are too... These are not the right ones. I ordered some more, so I should get the... Oh, that's a cute one. It's a little... I haven't opened them yet. So I'm going to choose a button. And I am going to um sew it into the hat. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so here she is with the finished hat. I weaved in my end. It looks perfect on her. And then what I did was just take a piece of yarn and um, with a tapestry needle I sewed it in and, and tied it off in the inside of the hat. And that's the result. Now, I'm gonna write down um, what I did in the description box below. And um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this tutorial. And I will be back with more. Um, again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll try my best to answer whatever questions you might have. And okay, bye.